All right, over the past few weeks, calls to poison control centers around the uh, country because of accidental ingestions of hand sanitizers and both uh, uh, drugs and over-the-counter medicines have increased. A majority of cases involve kids who are under the age of five, and often it happened when their parents were teleworking from home. Dr. Sophia Thomas, a mother, president of the American Association of Nurse Practitioners and a New Orleans resident, is joining us now to uh, help keep your kids safe. And this has been a problem for years, but uh, are we noticing it happening more and more now? Well, good morning, Eric. Yes, we are having more and more of it now. As, as you know, medicines are the most common cause of poisonings in young children. In fact, over 50,000 calls are made to poison control centers every year just because children ate medicine that was within their reach. And right now, as people are staying home, a lot of parents are teleworking, uh, daycares are closed, schools are closed, their toddlers are home, and the children are getting into things that they shouldn't eat. So um, just this week on Monday, the Journal of the American uh, Medical Association released research saying that the majority of accidental medicine ingestion uh, is actually within children within the ages of one to two years old. And when when we say uh, hand sanitizers, things like that, is that that because they're they're more prevalent now because they're sitting on the counter because we use them all the time. You know, the things are more readily available. Uh, hand sanitizer is a fascination for young children. They love to, you know, play with hand sanitizer. And, and in my own practice, I've actually seen a child use hand sanitizer and then lick their hands. Um, so certainly we're seeing hand sanitizer. I've heard a report of lighter fluid ingestion. So uh, children are just uh, walking around the house and getting into things that are within their reach. So the Up and Away campaign, uh, which is who I'm representing today, is really advocating for, for several things for parents to keep their homes safe while they're home teleworking, uh, putting especially medicines up and out of reach and away so children can't get into them. And by all means, most medicines come with the, those, those safety caps. A lot of people flip them over because it makes it easier. You never want to do that if you have kids in the house. Absolutely. You know, we say uh, things are childproof. There's nothing that's childproof. So those caps are child resistant, but you're right. You can flip them over. Uh, sometimes elderly people have them flipped over because it's easier for them to open the bottle. Sometimes arthritic hands can't open these childproof bottles. So we flip them over, but it makes it that much more accessible to young children. And young children admire their, their parents and grandparents, and they see them opening the medicine bottles and taking those, and so they do the same thing. So we have, we have several important tips that I'd like to share with you to help keep uh, kids and grandkids safe as we're all home right now. Please, by all means. So whenever you can, keep your medicines in the original child-resistant package. And as I said, nothing is child-proof, so it's a child-resistant package. Be sure that when you open the bottle to take your medication out, you close it safely and properly and be sure it's secured closed. Put the bottle up and out of uh, your child's reach. So this is why we call it the up and away campaign. Um, if pills are spilled, which often happens, Double check to make sure that everything you've spilled has been picked up. And always, the most important thing is save the poison control number in your phone. It's 1-800-222-1222. Um, that's probably the most important thing, always having that number available if anything happens. And we talked about how prevalent it is, but, but to put that in, in real numbers, what would you say out of, out of 10 parents with small kids, how many will wind up calling that line? You know, we know that 75% uh, of accidental medicine ingestions are within the, the age of, of one to two years old. Uh, I would hope that any parent who is, has a situation where their child has possibly ingested medication or anything would call that line. Okay. All right. And, and it's, it is to remind because, and you're right, there is nothing childproof. Kids get into everything and they find a way to do it. So just be smarter than your kids. As best we can, children are very creative and crafty, so uh, that's why we call this campaign the Up and Away campaign, to put everything up and away and out of your child's reach. Okay, and quickly before we go, we're out of time, but I mean, is it better to, t to take your medicine w when a child is not watching so, so he or she does not see what you're doing? Well, I mean, obviously, uh, we can't hide everything from our children, but uh, children model their parents' behaviors. So if they see a parent taking medication, it's acceptable for the child to assume that, that they 
think it will be okay. So um, it's best to, whenever you have to take your medication, certainly take it at the time that your prescriber says to do so. But then afterwards, closely uh, close those bottles safely, put them up and away and out of reach of your children. A lot of people leave them on their bathroom counters, yeah. kitchen counters, because it's a convenient place. But uh, oftentimes toddlers are very creative at, at even moving chairs to get over to the kitchen counter to, to reach up. So we want to be very careful and cognizant of that. All right, Sophia, thank you very much. We appreciate that. Again, we want to make sure that you have the Poison Control Center number. Check the banner out on the bottom of the screen. It's 800-222-1222. That's 800-222-1222. As we just mentioned, it's an important number to put in your cell phone so you're always prepared.